right hi everyone welcome back to another video of salesforce makes sense this is imanshu and we are continuing our lightning web components curriculum so before jumping into lightning web components and i think we are pretty much ready with everything that we have done so far with the tutorials let's quickly recap what all have we done and covered as part of this entire curriculum where we started right so i'm going to go right to the top of the curriculum and yes so we started off with the masterclass understanding why LWC is the future, what is possible about me a bit, uh, who this course is for, what's in store for you, uh, what all are we going to cover as part of this curriculum and this exactly what we have written here is what we are going to start next, right? And I talked about whether you need to know JavaScript or whether you need to know Aura and how much of coding is important and what is the skill set that you need. And we talked about prerequisites, uh, that we need some prerequisites. We are going to set that up before starting off. And then we got started with the introduction of what LWC is. How does it really fit into the Salesforce picture? Why did Salesforce decide to, you know, bring in LWC even though they had Visual Force and Aura? And then I talked about LWC versus JavaScript. And I also talked about LWC versus Aura. And I had these orange highlights analogies that helped you understand different items in a much easier way and then we proceeded ahead with you know understanding the browser support the kind of javascript support we talked about the security and the dom security features which is lightning web security and locker services we understood a bit of that and then we jumped into understanding and learning a bit of javascript this was more like a crash course that i wanted you guys to do for those of you who do not know how to write code at all or do, ha do not have any kind of experience with javascript i did this bit and introduced this in between uh, before starting the lwc curriculum as part of this crash course we really went deep dive into certain topics and now we are kind of ready to dive into LWC with all the learnings from this JavaScript crash course, right? So we talked about JavaScript. We talked about what are we going to cover in JavaScript. We went and used, you know, one or two online compilers, programmers and uh, JS fiddle. We talked about variables. We talked about public and private variables, let, where, const. I'm going a bit faster because this is more like a recap. So don't worry about it. Uh, we did some sample questions on everything and then we jumped into arrays. We talked about array methods we talked about functions we talked about how to write different way of different ways of writing functions uh, we talked about objects one of the most important things in say in javascript and lwc we talked about events wherein we talked about different kind of events and how to handle them we did try a lot of different use cases to understand each topic and then we understood a bit of debugging how you can actually find bugs because javascript is a bit difficult to read and when it gets compiled and we did some sample questions. We went into loops. We understood how loopy can things go, but then we were out of it. We understood the spread operator of actually transforming arrays and objects. And then we moved on to the this keyword, right? The this keyword again being very important. And we are going to use this as well in our LWC uh, work that we do. And then we jumped into error handling, understanding how to gracious, graciously, you know, handle errors right so we talked about good practices to follow and then i had some feedback around uh, uh, students wanting to also understand a bit of async await and the promises concept in javascript so that they are ready for it in lwc so i just introduced this one bit tutorial in between and kind of closed it with this so the promises async and await and we understood different scenarios common mistakes to make and i had some use cases some assignments for every one of you at every place and i am really glad to see most of you have actually went in and actually commented out and written the code, you know, practice questions, the ones where I asked you to give it a try, the ones where I asked you to fix it, you have given a lot of uh, answers, you've written a lot of queries, you've done a lot of good work. So kudos to that. And we then closed off with three JavaScript quizzes uh, that I put, which were 25 questions each just to test a bit of, you know, how, how things look like for you. Right. So with that confidence, I am sure that you are ready to jump into lightning web components. It could be that you have not done it at all till now. It could be that, you know, bits and pieces, but your foundation is not clear. It could be that, you know, a good chunk of it, but you still want to go through it because Himanshu might tell you something new and something that might make sense. Right. So that's the whole idea. And with that, we'll now jump into setting things up before we start writing lightning web components code all right great i'll see you in the next one when we set up the system for us